Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new vid of Fox Reacts. Today we're checking out a brand new vid from Game Theory about you know, are cities killing video games? I'm just gonna go ahead and give my opinion of no. If anything, we're making them better. Not all the way better, but we all at least is making it more interesting. A portion of this episode is sponsored by Capital One Shopping. Let me tell you a story, yeah, right. a true story. A story about an email I received from a game developer that for privacy reasons has to go nameless. Yeah, but okay. let me assure you that it's someone who works on a game franchise that you're quite familiar with. Anyway, we'd done a theory or two trying though? to predict the plot line and some early twists for their upcoming game. Out of the blue, I received Andy? this email from the CEO of the company asking me if I had a mole on the inside feeding me information. No, obviously it was a joke, but also uh. not quite a joke. Anyway, I was just ecstatic that oh, we were on the right holy. track. And then the game <laughs> came out, and it was nothing like our theory had predicted. It also oh, seemed man. rushed and a bit unpolished, like a lot had been changed in the game last minute. It Damn. got me wondering whether our theories had prompted them to change the game oh. in order to move the storyline away from what I'd predicted. But no, that, that, that couldn't be right, right? I mean, why Are developers they? actually changing their games in response to fan theories? I mean, well, friends, that's false. exactly what I aim to find out today yeah all right well hey let's just see what this game say was but and also you shouldn't change the game just because someone made a theory about it if anything you can make your game well it lose the theory that way everyone can be happy and enjoy the game to the fullest they can Hello Internet, welcome to Game Theory, the show that 60% of the time gets it right every time. Awesome. Lately, and maybe it's just me, I've been seeing a lot of discussion around my role, uh, this huh? channel's role in the wider games industry. Obviously, I got that email that I mentioned in the cold open, but I also had hmm. this random conversation the other week with someone who said that getting a theory video made for your series is like landing a white whale. Let's just make sure oh. that there are fewer harpoons <laughs> there, Ahab. There's Yo also been videos from creators like Dags and Sagan Hawks that explore the evolution of indie Ooh. horror and our specific role in that. If you're lucky enough, you may get the blessing of the gods that is a game theory video on your story. Oh. In this era of post-FNAF indie <laughs> nice. horror, it can be really easy to want to chase that trend, filling your game with secret nice. lore. But if it doesn't fit your concept, don't do it. Don't well, chase that game theory that video. There's also meme downside. material like this. No, don't get me wrong. I don't bring all this up to be self-aggrandizing, like, oh, hmm. look at how important we are to the games industry. I bring all this up to yeah, question the assumption is necessary, this actually true so is there fun. evidence to suggest that games are changing themselves in response to theorists have we and other online theorists shaped the way that games oh, are so made and gaming, marketed bro. and has this sometimes resulted this in worse games well first and foremost we know that we have a very strong impact on search results last may yeah, during anyway. our video on the game only cans i made a quick oh. offhand joke about the 19 year old meme lemon party that new flavor's name lemon party by the way do not google yeah, that so Super Don't. random, right? But wouldn't you know it, off of that very brief mention, suddenly searches for the term lemon party hit their oh highest God, point why in would you five look it up? years. And this is after we told you to not Google it. So do me a favor, don't hit that subscribe button. I already button knew and it was, so I didn't need Absolutely do not leave a up. comment that has the word jump kick in it. Don't you okay, sis, whatever you do, don't look up lemon party. If you, ooh, if you like lemonade, don't Google it. D don't don't I see you doing it. I see you doing it. Don't don't get back away from the keyboard and just watch the rest of this video oh, I'm telling you for your own safety. Do not Google lemon party Dare don't you even think about it. I will be so disappointed in you yeah, if you do, do but that's just a search term What about an actual game? Well, we dug around using Google Trends Which if you're not familiar tracks the volume of search traffic over time data that can yeah, be that filtered sense. by geographic region and search mm -hmm. platform So we started to look at games that the How channel had covered Holm? in the past oh starting with one from four years <laughs> ago The VR game duck season if you don't remember this one oh, it had a cute animal mascot a horrible family dead kids a 1980s aesthetic and None of this is really helping narrow it down, is it? No, it was no, our no, mission that in that first game. video to reveal the identity of the murderous dog mascot behind it all. Just another yeah. normal day over here at Game Theory. That video is one that. of our best performing videos of all time with over 19 million views. So a we stuck the term duck season truly. into Google Trends and wouldn't you know it, the timing of our video's Whoa. release corresponded to the highest peak in search traffic ever for both that YouTube and on the web in general. Other spikes in trends certainly seem to exist immediately after the game game's release, release when 
Jacksepticeye, Cory Extension, and others played the game, Whoa. but in December of 2017, web search had dropped to 47% of the high. Then in hmm. January, immediately after our theory, 100%. All-time high of search traffic. If we get even that more granular, amazing. you can see that the highest point from 12-1-2017 to 1-31-2018 is December 31st, the day Ooh. after our video came out. We I kept searching, and we kept seeing the same thing over and over again. Mobile game Lily's Garden, video June 22nd, oh, 2021, 100% yeah. spike in YouTube search immediately afterward. Andy's Apple Farm, game released November 26th, 2021, that. our video December 12th, 2021, 100% spike. Yep. And it wasn't just for game theory either. Like, Nightmind, a theorist for all things creepy, had a video on Catastrophe Crow 64 in early February 2021. And sure enough, we see a sizable spike in trends for the United States right after the video releases. Oh, when yeah. you run the same trend search game. worldwide, you get a different 100% during the week of February 21st to 27th. Widros oh. Rotzank, award-winning Venezuelan YouTuber, released his video on the topic. And then our video came out on March 13th, setting a new, higher Whoa. benchmark for the whole thing. Theorists, not just us, it would seem, get people excited to search for more info on the games that they <laughs> talk about. But okay, this is all for we small titles that no one would normally be searching for. What about something more mainstream? Well, we see like this what? trend happening with massive titles as well. In 2019, Minecraft Ooh. saw this massive resurgence in popularity, with its 10-year yes, it anniversary did. happening in May, and then PewDiePie picking up the game in June. Oh, Long yeah. live Sven Svensson. But despite a year full of Sven! huge events for this long-running, massively popular series, searches for Minecraft peaked on both YouTube Whoa. and on the web between July 21st and 27th. The week we hmm. started our deep dive lore analysis in and the there game. It goes. In fact, yeah, that week that. was the most searched that Jeez. Minecraft had been since 2015. A record that has only been surpassed <laughs> in mid-2020 by the surge of some guy that you might be familiar with, Dream. You. Even when you're talking about crazy viral hits like Among Us, the game hits its peak in web search Ooh. on September 20th. Our first video on the title came out the day before September 19th. Damn. At this point, it certainly seemed like there was a strong correlation between our coverage of a game and it reaching the height of its search traffic immediately thereafter. Honestly and honestly, good, it does make it? some amount Shouldn't of anecdotal it? sense. When you watch our stuff tell and we it tell is. you that there's something cool and compelling in this game, Chicken naturally smash, some of so. you are going <laughs> to want to know more. You're going to want to find Chicken more smash, clues so and help solve the mystery. I mean, why else do you think we've done yeah. 50 videos on FNAF at this point? As theorists, we're not uh -huh. just engaging with these games at a surface level, making jokes at a game we and then moving on diving. to the next like a lot of Let's Players tend to do. We're trying to immerse you in these worlds, highlight the storytelling that's being done inside the games, diving. or should be being done inside these games. And heck, if you like our little primer on it, then you're inclined to dig deeper and explore the world for yourself. But yeah. that's just talking about audience interest. What I want to know now is whether these trends have led developers to start paying attention to us. Have online theorists oh, no. actually made an impact in the way that games are marketed and made? Hmm. Now, before I tell you about our hypothetical impact, let me tell you about something that'll definitely yeah, have okay, an impact Matt. on your wallet. Our sponsor for this portion of today's video, Capital huh. One Shopping. But well, let me just go I ahead and these go. off companies shop that you don't want to work not like also lose only saving me it matters and by using cap shopping stuff that you'd be buying you're using then be redeemed Come win up. scenario and the best user or anything click the link just that you make money and for Merge Mansion. Oh, okay, okay, Originally, think, we get back on. to the data. Let's start okay, with the game back. that we actually went back to recently. Merge Mansion. Originally, we covered this mobile game's lore oh, on October yeah, 24th, 2021. Concluding that Grandma that well. is a cold-blooded murderer in disguise. Shortly after our theory, a message got sent out to players talk. by the game itself, telling them that Grandma did nothing wrong. She has nothing to hide. Followed by a YouTube link where you could uh -huh. find four live-action videos starring actress and sledgehammer enthusiast Kathy I keep B getting those ads called constantly i don't have to look them up uh, these ads just keep hitting me on my computer on my phone modes madsen is trying to get me in Eight. Can I prove that we were the thing that prompted them to go with that campaign? No, no, I can't. But does the timing work out for them look, to have seen our theory and then leaned into the whole granny's innocent wink wink angle? You <laughs> betcha. I That's mean, some yeah, circumstantial could, evidence, honestly. but can we make a more one to one connection? What about something more substantial? Like something a bit more narrative driven? What about Bendy, Bendy and, and the, the Ink, ink machine? machine? We made Hell a theory yeah. after the release of Chapter <laughs> 2 talking about this random angel character. This character uh, that had shown Alice up in a random angel. poster on the wall. 
walls, speculating that she was going to be important to the story moving forward. First, we'll see I'm Alice take this. center stage as the game goes on. Like Betty Boop, we'll hear about how her popularity skyrocketed, I mean, surpassing Bendy. Sure state, enough, like when Chapter castles. 3 released 123 days after the video, the world was introduced to Alice Angel. She was front and center. Now, did we yeah. predict what the creators were going to do with Alice all along, or hmm. did we somehow speak this new character into being? According to Mike <laughs> Mood in an interview... We'd like oh, you guys need to do an episode with Connie X and his stand time after time. I like to say we knew exactly what was going to happen, but really, at the end of the day, we knew the beginning and we knew the end of the game. Everything that right. happened in between was kind of developed as we went along. In Chapter 2, mm -hmm. we had a poster of Alice Angel, and that was just one poster. Singular there was nothing post. explaining what this character was. The fans just started doing fan art, they just fell in love with the character, and, and they made it really obvious that Chapter 3 should be about Alice Angel. And that boom, right there, there is goes. pretty conclusive. They literally took ideas from the fan community and used them to fill out their story. Yeah. Which, let me be clear, isn't a bad thing. It's awesome it to listen to good. the fans and respond to the things that they're all most excited about. But it's clear that we, the collective we playing these games, not the just we us theorists, the we internet. influenced how Bendy turned out in those middle chapters. So now we're starting yeah, to see how theories sense. can have an influence for the better or for the worse. Oh no, what's the loss? Which segues nicely to the 300 pound elephant in the Damn. room, Hello Neighbor. At least he's a dapper elephant. I mean, he wears <laughs> yeah. a sweater, vest, mm, and everything. Must now, you might remember this little <laughs> series of tweets from April 2020. For Not anyone that doesn't, Tiny Build, one of the developers for Hello Neighbor, had just released a TV pilot and began really? tagging my Twitter in their posts, wow. seemingly trying to get another theory out of me. However, Hello Neighbor's making a TV show. Why do I not remember hearing anything of this? Little sis would love that. She's all about that game. Some have suggested that this block of tweets is part of a larger pattern of behavior. A mm. pattern that implies that Tiny Build changed the game Hello Neighbor during development to chase theory videos like ours. But all is right. that true? To figure it out, we decided to look at the development cycle for the game. I'm going to skip okay. the first couple of alphas because they didn't give us too much to work with. Basically, yeah, during this period, really Hello though. Neighbor's popularity was doing fine, but nothing to write home about. Alpha yeah, 2 was released on November 22nd, 2016, 27 go. days after the last build. In fact, up until this point, Tiny Build was releasing a new version of Hello Neighbor every 27 to 30 days like clock. Wow, every and month. And wouldn't you know, 30 days after Alpha 2, Alpha oh, 3 gets me. released. Players are treated to a much hmm. larger house with more oh, rooms whoa. and a ton more to look at. But yeah, there it goes. things start oh, to look, get the weird. Shadow Man. You see, sandwiched in there on December 15th is the release of our two-part Hello Neighbor expose, which looked at all the demonic and oh, satanic yeah. symbols around our dear Mr. Rogers wannabe. In the latest <laughs> Alpha build of the game, you can find a house on a darkened street Whoa. and look at the bottom of his shoes a seal that reads 666 the sign of the beast it combined these hell. two videos have been viewed 19.3 million times now there's Damn. such a short time period between our video on the 15th and the alpha 3 release that there's no way our video could have <laughs> altered that version of the game beyond that oh. though things get a little bit odd Ooh, alpha 4 is released it. may the 4th 2017 a whopping 133 days after alpha 3 now remember all all the now other releases were only a month apart, but Alpha 4 was in development for over four times the length of anything yeah, prior that to is it. Something. It's also an oddly similar amount of time to the gap between our video on Alice Angel and the release of Bendy Chapter 3. Hmm. But it wasn't just the length of time between versions that was noteworthy. Days. It was also what Tiny Build had used the lengthy design time right. to create, specifically the game's brand new nightmare sequences, where you're broken away from sequence. the main stealth gameplay that had been the selling feature up to that point and trans transported to another section Whoa, to play surreal minigames the... where lore takes the center stage. And this is the trend what that would continue the until the game's crazy? release. Once Hello Neighbor came out, it was disappointing to say the least. A lot of people yeah, were really excited about this game, myself included. The original concept really of an AI learning how you broke into a house and changing tactics accordingly was brilliant, but it seemed that there was a decision made to chase the hype at the cost of this original concept. They changed oh, tactics well, and damn. focused more on the lore of the series, which again, seems to be backed up by it's, the tweets and their bad? eventual book series and their TV pilots, and in turn, they lost focus on the game itself, which became a broken, buggy mess. But of course, if we're talking Truly about buggy games, no one else takes the cake like Security Breach. Ah. Uh, uh, Freddy, Freddy. Uh, I'm gonna shove the? a beak inside of you, and you are going to be able to talk better. You... <laughs> Did you hate the idea? <laughs> Freddy just said, peace, boy, I'm out. Oh, that's hilarious. Peace, boy, I'm out. Bong. <laughs> I gotta see that again. That might be able to talk better. 
You and there it is, this card. Did you hate the idea that much? You haven't seen so many things, and yet you've seen Karate Kid, huh? Yeah. Up oh, and look at that. His own gameplay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What happened? What happened? What happened? I, f I fell through the wormhole, apparently. If you've watched my you theories on the game, the you'll know that yes, I walked away confused and disappointed with the lore. It felt like mm. the pieces didn't all... Hold on, folks. I gotta go take care of some... Sorry about that. Dogs. ...point fit together. And now there's a ton of speculation <laughs> about whether or not the game that we got was the game that was intended. And to be honest, I'm right there yeah, with you. I have. get it. We released could a video have, back in late been. 2020, right around when Security Breach was due to launch. But a few weeks later, Ooh. the game was delayed. We did oh, another well. theory in April of 2021 when the game was once again due to release. Okay. But shortly after, the game was once again delayed. Both of okay. these videos were heavy on the predictions Great. as to what the game was going to be about. So would it be that strange hmm. to believe that we may have gotten a bit too close? If you look at all the content yeah, I mean, I that guess was cut maybe. from the game via channels like Tetrabit Gaming, you start to see elements of the Whoa. original story start to poke through. Like the fact that this at one point in development, there was such a thing called the Vanny Meter. And as that Vanny Meter got oh, full, no, security this. guard Vanessa would disappear only to transform into the evil Vanny. Something that yeah. we had actually theorized about a lot, but also something the final game that. was weirdly cagey about. Now, I can't I remember people talking about that and saying they weren't big into it because it kind of just seemed useless necessarily say that I have solid proof that Security Breach changed things based on online theories, but Scott himself hmm. has admitted that he's changed things based on what the fan base has found <laughs> interesting. As yep, Scott, in his own words, says... I watch all the game theory videos, you know, and, you know, me and Matt have some had, sometimes had an antagonistic relationship <laughs> back and forth. You know, I, I inconvenience him with my games, and sometimes he inconveniences me with his theories, you know, but it's all in good fun. He did a video nice. on that box. And he kind of said that he thinks the contents of the box changed over the years. But I, I saw mm -hmm. that and I was like, he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. The contents oh. of that box have changed over the years. Look what I was intending the game to be when it happened. And then huh. after the reaction of it, I was like, I, I, need, to cr I need to craft this into something, something better, better yeah. for the people who see this as important. And that oh, kind of indirectly that. does change the contents of the box, you know, because it, 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 it changes <laughs> the contents of everything that came before. When you start retconning more right, elements cool. or changing the details within a game, your story, cool. and in turn your fan base that theorized and loved your game are the ones that ultimately suffer. Let's be honest, uh, FNAF shame. lore always been complicated, even when you're not oh, yeah, talking about these changes, but it never felt like the games suffered. It felt like Scott was very much in control of the story and where it was going, but Security Breach hmm. was just a lot messier than your standard Freddy Fazbear experience, I from a gameplay standpoint and from a and lore standpoint. And Into if fan the theories were holes. right and they changed the original story because of it, well, then it would explain why the game was so unpolished and the lore That's so you don't incomplete. Climb on too much By stuff. rushing to try and make something surprising, they ultimately shot themselves in the foot. They changed Ow, elements of the story to make it different, but forgot to take everything out. And so we're left wondering if Vanny and Vanessa are the same person, which every Thing up to that point had been leading up to. They even went back hmm. and changed the princess's name in the game files back to Princess instead of Cassidy. The one oh, lore piece on. that we felt like we had nailed, they've now changed retroactively, Great. which makes it all the more confusing. Were we right and they kind changed it? Was this move. an Easter egg? Was it intentional? Who knows? Just let us have something. And you yeah, see, that's the now, point. Let us thing. have something. Developers, if you're watching, just let us be right. Don't be afraid that YouTubers yeah. or Reddit threads guessing the story is going to make your game any less fun. If anything, it adds to the excitement for us theorists. When yeah, we get it to makes that final proud. boss and the twist is revealed and we realize that we had called it all along. That is way more satisfying than a half-finished game with a Always. messy story meant to subvert our expectations. It's, it's it means like, that we congratulations, it. We you laid ride. out the clues yeah. in a sensible way that uh, some very celebrate. dedicated fans were able to follow and piece together. And hey, if and when we get stuff wrong, that's great too. We're okay with that. It just means that we have more to theorize about. In the end, yeah. don't sacrifice your game's integrity just trying to make us wrong in retrospect. I think yeah. Game of Thrones author George R.R. R. Martin said it best. You know, say, I have George. certain things that I'm laying clues for that there'll be revelations later on. Some people had put together those clues even as early as 1998 and are adding things together. What do I do with that? What do I do mm. with that? The, yeah, these people have guessed the secret that I'm going to reveal in book six. People have already guessed that here, and book two is just, just out. You really have right. two choices there. You can ignore it and proceed with your plan, despite the fact that some people know where you're going. Or you can mm -hmm. get all panicky and say, oh my God, they figured it out. I can't <laughs> let that be. I'll have to change it. I'll have to go in a different direction. And I, I think Why some writers do go? that. And I think that's always mm. a mistake. 
Yeah. You know, if you've planned your book that the butler did it, and then you yeah. read an internet, someone has figured out that the butler did it, and you suddenly change in midstream, and it was the chambermaid who did it, mm, then you screw up the whole book because you get these this foreshadowing early on, and yeah. you've got these little clues you planted. Now they're dead you ends. Clue and clue you have to after clue after clue, and then you suddenly and just go, oh. it's a mess. We know developers recognize the impact just reactions from fans and YouTubers have, and at times include extras in games for us to find, hoping for us to get excited about finding them. But too many games that started out in a really good place with a passionate team making something they love get a taste of that hype train and start changing yeah, things. Suddenly, it. they're trying to chase the train for just Hell one more ride two. rather than staying the course. The Obviously, we love else. great games with hidden lore, but not hmm. at the cost of everything else. We love when developers try and stretch themselves to achieve something special, yeah. but we don't want special, to see internet clout cause them to compromise their vision. Just make the game and the story that you want to make, the exactly. one you intend to make. Because if it's well well made exactly. and enjoyable, then we'll inevitably want to play it and talk about it. Yeah. If you guess the story early, that's totally okay. Add some Easter eggs pointing happy. to the next installment. If you get something wrong, that's okay too. And if you don't want to include <laughs> any real lore at all, yeah, fine. Okay. I'll still be here, ready to claim that it's secretly a sequel to Earthbound anyway. Let them argue <laughs> their theories, whether they're right, whether they're wrong, but I don't need to know about that. But hey, that's, that's just, just a, a game theory. theory. A game theory. Thanks for watching. And with that, that's what we're going to call off today's video. So, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video. So, remember to support the original creator and all they do. And I'll see all of you folks in the next video. Have a good one.